boys and girls. Hopefully everything is working okay. I'll give it a second so I can hear it back. <sighs> Hope everybody is doing well. Doing well, doing well. Everybody is safe. Uh, yeah, evidently there's some monitor because between the time I speak and the time I hear it back is uh, what? Like almost 60 seconds. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Monitoring over here. We are uh, hoping to purge all of Nurgle's heresy uh, with holy fire today. We can't call it what it is, so uh, I heard someone else end up calling it Nurgle's Plague, Nurgle's Blessing. Um, so that's what we're going to call it from now on. Those that are familiar with Warhammer will know exactly what I'm talking about. Hmm. And our guest for today, our lovely uh, ball sack over here. And uh, come here, Tiggs. Come here. Uh, we have a guest. We have a guest. Here's Tiggs. He's like, hey, why, why am I seeing myself over there? This is Tiggs. Mm. He's pretty much worthless. But I love him. Don't tell my other cat because he'll get all jealous and start eating my shoes and shit. All right. Um. So, uh, we got a couple fish. Ah, uh, uh, bitch. Stupid thing in my ear. Battery low. Could be because it hasn't been plugged in since sometime this morning. All right, so uh, today we are looking at the companion piece to this guy right here. Da -da -da. Um, so that uh, is the instruction book. Hi, Poppy. Poppy Chulo. Um, so that is the exorcist tank. Um, and then today we're looking at the emoliator, uh, or exfoliator, or the purge it with holy freaking fire. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it down to the table and, uh, we're going to take a look at this because I have new crack seal because UPS was late delivering it well not late they guaranteed it before eight so it got here before eight so let's uh let's do that one that seems to be good all right so uh this is from radar's game on amazon or radar on amazon uh on the playback i will put a link down below and uh whew, the color the color is not good. What is up with that? Whoa. Need to fix that. That's probably because of this light. I have a light right here too. Let's switch that. That would be my bin cue. Let's change the tone. Let's make that a little more yellow. Oh, that looks more natural. Yeah, that's better. All right. So... Uh, yeah, so this came from Radar Game. I'm not going to show the other side because it has my address on it. Uh, handy dandy knife. We're just going to split. I don't know if I need to split both sides. I don't think so. So one of the reasons, and I know I do like to try to support local stores, except for Hobby Town because they suck. Um... And they're my only local hobby store that carries a Warhammer. So uh, I end up usually ordering on uh, Amazon. And which is good because they are usually at the same 15-20% off that you would end up getting on 
eBay from sellers. So let's see. We got that. Do we have anything else in here? We have a cat hair, which is for me. Take the picture already. Uh, radar toys. Um, I think this is a sticker. Not sure. We'll put it over there. If they end up seeing this, uh, I will tag them in it. Uh, thank you. And, oh, I heard something else in here. What else is in here? Anything else? Oh, piece of cardboard. That's it. And paper. Here you go, Tig. There's a box for you. You get something. All right, so here we have the emoliator. And look at all that glare on there. Ooh, let's flick that off for right now. Okay, so here's the emoliator. The emoliator. That just sounds like a, a like a facial regimen. Like I should be using an emoliation, an emoliator. All right. Taking a look at the backside on here. Now the base of the of the kit itself is the same as the other one. The only thing that is different is this top section. I believe on this one that the turret actually rotates on this one, where the other one is fixed. You do have a cool clear place, which I am actually like kind of stoked to work on. Um, this piece right here that is stained glass or to look like stained glass uh, and it has a frame. That part is clear, so that will be fun to do. Um, and that's kind of one of the things that ended up uh, drawing me to it. One of the reasons that I haven't uh, primed the other piece is, well, I knew this one was coming and I was looking forward to it. Um, the driver on here actually has four different heads. Uh, let's see, you that one looks like she was in a rough lesbian relationship. Um, that one uh, is just kind of angry. That one has a different hairstyle. And this one has a helmet and breather. And this one actually looks pretty good. This one might be the one we end up doing. Uh, of course, has one of the freaky cherubs on it. Um, overview over here uh, you do have the hunter killer missile same as came with the other one uh, you get a heavy bolter or you can do a twin melta uh, for the front I would think uh, strategically because you have the emolation flamers on here that it would probably be better to have a bolter mounted on the front instead of another flamer um, but I don't know. I don't play. I just do what looks good, at least to me. Uh, you get a back shot and a, another side shot over here. Uh, let's see. Incendiary transport tank of the faithful. All right. So let's get this glary plastic off. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. So this feels like it's a box inside of a box. And I don't know what the hell that was. Whatever it was made the cat run away. Oh, that's kind of important. Let's not spill the Tamiya extra thin. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So we have the instruction booklet. Let's look over that here real quick. Get that out of the way. Don't mess with things, cat. All right. Shush. Or you have to leave. All right, the emoliator. Oh, by the way, because it fell over. Um, for those that were wondering, we did get this guy all built up last night. He is pretty cool. Like I said, he stands about three inches tall. Um, I'll do an actual like how to put him all together and everything, but he's actually a pretty cool. I like him. Plus, he's got swords, so what's not I'll th uh, like? Let's put him over there so he doesn't fall over again. All right. So, um, same as with the other tank, all of this is going to be the same. So, if you've built one, you've built the other does give you the option of either the twin meltas or the bolter same 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 all of this up until this point 
um, and on here you end up building it looks like uh, the worshiping with the flaming candles you get the burners on the side you get some railing next page over here it just shows you where those are going to go some different angles and then you start putting on the other things you start building the control panel uh, the backrest for it start putting in the control knobs put in the body of the sister then you get to pick which head that you want let's see and this is going to be i believe right yeah so i didn't realize that these were pivotable but they are uh, so for the emoliation cannons or the flamers uh, they are adjustable, so do not glue them in place so that you can move them up and down. Give some variety on there. You just repeat the process for both sides. And I guess it gives you an option that you can, instead of doing the flamers, though, I don't know why. I mean, unless you're doing a big army and you want multiple uh, multiple things, you... Uh, you have the option of doing the emoliation flamers, twin heavy bolters, or twin multi -melt meltas um, instead of those. But the whole point in this is, well, the flamer. So uh, on here you have the clear piece, and then you have some pieces that attach to it for on there. We'll end up taking a look at that, see how that ends up working, and the best way to go about that. Uh, let's see 93 94. I saw something about this. Those actually end up going in front uh, I think most people ended up doing those separate. I, I don't know. We'll we'll take a look at that um, Let's see here. You have this uh, I don't know what you call it cattle guard fence railing whatever um, so you get that You get the doors You get the creepy cherub you get the smokers you get the hunter killer missile and then you get an overview of everything all together hello miss kill whip and well hell i forgot i had it all zoomed in showing that so let's go just glance over these real quick <laughs> i feel so stupid i forgot i had it zoomed in so yeah so positionable of those the meltas the options the stained glass um, I would leave this loose. Don't glue that in. Get the doors, cherub, everything put on, some final views. Uh, you get the instructions in all the different languages. You get a painting guide. And then let's go over these runners. So... on this one and yeah, that doesn't look right on this one here you have the control center wings for the cherubs arms for going onto the control panels uh, these are going to be the sides for the turrets for the emoliation uh, flamers and there's those parts looks like part of the barrels for the multi melta uh, let's see part of the cherub um, this part, I don't like the way that it was just bouncing around in there. Playing Forza 2, cool. Um, so for this part here, I don't like the fact it was bouncing around in there. Though it doesn't really matter even if it got scratched up. I don't think anything that really matters would have gotten scratched. Um, I don't like that right down the center here. I can see a seam in the clear, so... We will end up kind of fixing that, but that's the clear piece for the stained glass window. Um, so you do get uh, the top of the tank, which is different than this guy. Uh, you get the candles, you get the torso part of the sister. Um, more railings on here. It looks like wood paneling for the back side of that. As usual, great details. 
This runner is going to be the same as the other, as the other tank. So about same, same on that. Doesn't look like anything is different. You do get another full sheet of water slide decals. I do like GWs. They work very well. Get rid of the leftover bits that are in there. So I know I need that first. I'm just messaging with work here real quick. All right. So let's put that back in the box. Um, do I want to do this or do I want to do the top of the tank? Because all of that is pretty much the same. Let's work on the top of the tank because I have already done the bottom of the other one. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> well, maybe it would be better if I end up building that up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, see? Well, you know what, for right now, because I don't know how long I'm going to stream for, but let's build the turret part. So we're going to start from here on at least right this moment. Da -da 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 -da. Get this out of the way. Eh, I'll leave it there. So I went into work just to pick up and drop off a couple of things. Um, and then I ended up leaving. Running some errands for wifey. And then... I think that's about it. Uh, going back tomorrow, going in for a couple hours just to work on uh, some paperwork and stuff like that. Other than that, no big plans for work. Have to figure out what the uh, what the plans are for next week because I haven't heard anything. Ninety, ninety-one, and ninety-two. Let's see, where are we? <laughs> so there's 91. Ninety two B ninety two. And 90. 90 should be floating around here somewhere. It's kind of square. There it is. And let's see. 68 and 69. So there's 69. And 68, where is you? Where are you? There you are. There's that, there's those. Let's get these cleaned up real quick. Da -da -da -da. Uh, let's do... Thank you.
I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I just I can't say I'm I, I can't say that I'm bored, but I mean, I miss working. I, I enjoy working. I enjoy helping patients. I don't enjoy getting sick or the threat of getting sick. That is never fun. And that is always an impending doom anytime you work in any form of medical field. How are you? still raining outside but it was pouring earlier it's been really weird it's been decent during the days but at night almost every night it's been um, it's been raining not heavy and not not all night either it's just like a light rain and we need it so I'm not complaining about that Tron inspired Lambo Advent <laughs> It's been so long since I've played any racing games I haven't I don't think I have touched a racing game since Gran Turismo on PS2. I think that was the last time I played a racing game. Go ahead and send me a pic. else that needs to be cleaned up with that. the stream earlier but between doing things and the package not getting here just did not work out in my favor All 
right, that's cool. I like that. Very nice. Sanding stick. Get that casting line off. all cleaned up this nub without launching this little piece through the air across the room. time of year usually I can almost count on this time of year and fall time um, I can pretty much guarantee I will end up getting a sinus infection from allergies and I haven't yet knock on bamboo all right show So one side of this has a little triangle shape, the other side has a little triangle shape. Pretty sure it's supposed to be line up triangle with line up triangle, but long way especially with this stuff with this plastic because it just melts the plastic slide that in your looks like control yoke I'm going to assume and that piece is going to fit right there and the best way I've found with doing these is 
you just line it up. Most of them have like little notches or little divots. And I will literally just hold it there. Touch the edge of it with the, the glue brush. It feeds right into the gap and you're good. There is that, let's. Wrong way, wrong way, there we go. All right, so that's what we're looking at there. Put the backboard on. And this is gonna go just like this. gonna hold it with my thumb touch that side with some glue touch that side with some glue and it should filter down and glue her into place and I'm gonna do a little bit right there just to be safe so there's her backboard and control yoke <clears throat> What's up, Tybalt? I think that's right. Or Thebalt. And off our little nub without losing these little things. So this one's going to go right. that with a little dab of glue other one clean off the nub from it And then once these are glued down, there is still a little fine um, like mold line on these, but I don't want to attempt to do it while while it's loose. Otherwise, I will I'll just I'll lose it. Like that's that's what I'll end up doing. <laughs> uh, can't make any can't make any jokes about that. So um, what I do is little pieces like that. I'll glue it down, and then I will just come along later and screw that up. Uh, so, said, I joined your channel years ago uh, because I do Gunpla, but also build Warhammer 40k stuff, so nice seeing you're into it too. I'm currently building the Salamander's army and it's pronounced Tebow. Okay, Teb oh, okay. I can remember Tebow. Like, as in Tebow, like, Tebow? Like, uh, Tebow? Or Tybo? I like Tebow. Makes, makes me imagine that, like, if we were together and there was a fight, that, like, you could kick some ass. Um, let's see. All right, well, that's empty. And useless. Okay. Um, yeah, I love um, I love modifying and uh, painting up and doing dioramas and stuff like that for for 40k stuff. Um, I have a I have a few of like the Primarchs from Forge World that are just primed up. A couple of them I got when I shattered my leg. 
I ordered them on eBay and they ended up coming in. So I, uh, I kind of worked on those. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that GW at some point decides to release um, plastic Primarchs because that would be awesome. Because um, comparing the, I mean, I, l I love the Forge World ones, but to me, I don't know. They seem underwhelming in scale and size uh, versus like uh, Rubude. Uh, from GW like that one's a freaking awesome <clears throat> like that silly quarterback guy uh, but I was Tebow before he was Tebow <laughs> oh that's funny no um, no I don't play I don't really know any local people to play with I, I probably have enough minis if I combine everything uh, I'm pretty sure I have an orc army um, Age of Sigmar. I have I have a full complete uh, army of um, Nurgle. I have some Ultramarines and things like that. Uh, and I have uh, the not the Court of the Dead. I want to call them Court of the Dead, but uh, these guys. I don't know why I have Core of the Dead stuck on my, my brain, but uh, these guys are for. So I have, I have, I don't have a whole army of them. I have a lot of them though. And what else have I got? I've got miscellaneous stuff everywhere. But I have mostly like Nurgle stuff and undead stuff. That's majority of what I like. Okay, so there's that. Let's build. Let's build a body. Okay, so here are some arms right about here. Let's nip those off. I hope for anybody watching that is in the States that you are being precautious. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go into the you have to do this, you have to do that. Um, but I just hope everybody is being safe and staying healthy. Uh, anybody that is a delivery driver, truck driver, UPS, USPS, any, any one of those sorts, I hope you guys are being safe as well. Thank you for your continued work through everything. We are not calling it CV. We were calling it Nurgle's Plague. Way we don't get uh, dinged by YouTube because evidently you're not allowed to talk about it. Not by name anyway. Unless you're an actual news channel. Um, let's see here. I've been in Warhammer for 30 years and, and this year I promised myself that I would actually build an army and play. Hence the Salamanders. Work in progress. That's cool. I, I've heard a lot of people like Salamanders. <coughs> Um, I am doing these because, well, they're sisters. And what's not to like about holy chicks? Well, holy chicks, as in like religious holy chicks, not holy chicks as in like they're full of holes. Because then those would be chaos. Put her body together. Salamander's the the one that's primarily yellow. Or are those the iron iron fist? I think those are the iron fist. Whichever ones are yellow, God. Those are a pain in the butt to paint. Uh, 
All right. So there's her main body. And yes, we will end up having to come along and retouch up things. I'm not going to glue her down. I'm not going to glue her upper body down. I'll put her head on there. Um, that way, that actually lines up pretty damn good just as that. Lighten that up. That lines up damn near perfect for those uh, rods to the control handles that she has in her thing. Good job, GW. Brighten this a little bit. There we go. All right. So we're not going to glue her down. That way we can make sure and clean her up, make her look all nice and clean. And which head are we going to do? Are we going to do the helmeted head? Wait, where's... So should we do the helmeted head, um, the weird fringy hair head, the lesbian head, or the other lesbian head? I think there's too many that look like this. Um, I, I'm really not partial to that. Don't ask me why. I understand they're sisters of battle, and I understand that they should be war torn and stuff like that. but. Like when you see any of the artwork, like they don't they don't look like they have like mange and, and rabies and stuff like that. I, I, I don't I don't understand. Um, I, I kind of like the helmeted head, though. What do you guys think? Um, let's see here. Sisters look awesome. Salamanders are uh, a boring green black scheme. Um, but as an army, they seem uh, most humane and nicest of the Astartes. Uh, they, they are the only one, um, let's see. They are the only ones that live amongst their people and do not separate from the ge uh, general populace. Uh, ultimate good guys in the bad guy galaxy. Um, I like the longer hair head. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what it looks like on the sprue. Do, do, do. Come on, baby, let me Where are you hit? There you are. Some of you. Uh, yeah, the longer hair. Yeah, you know what? Looking at it, I agree. The the helmeted head, it looks too alienish. It's too oblong. It doesn't look right. Um, so longer hair head, it is compliments of Kibo. <laughs> All right, let's just place that on, kind of see what it looks like. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, I have the other one looking. So this is the head that I have. Okay. Let's just block out everything. Come on, focus on my hand. So this is the head that I have on for the other tank. And I have her looking to her left. And I think I will do this one looking. To her right a little bit. I like trying to make them a little dynamic. I don't like them all being like same, same. <laughs> they all look like weird Neanderthal ladies. Yeah. If you want to talk about weird Neanderthal ladies. I still have a Celis and Prime that I haven't even opened. I am a horrible a box of adjudicators I haven't opened. Uh, where are I 
know I dropped the box the other day. So I have uh, some of the original plastic. Um, they are sisters, but they're, uh, was it the, the Void Witches? Those look just weird. All right, so here we are with her head looking a little to the left. Not too far. I don't want it to be crazy. So I'm going to do a little dab of glue down in the socket. Put her on there. See how that looks. Yeah. That'll look pretty good. So she's not looking completely right, but she's not looking left, and she's not looking exactly straight. Uh, the Celestine model is great. Uh, so much you can do with it, uh, um, color-wise, if you stray from the box art. Yeah, I, I can't find St. Celestine. You're, you're talking about St. Celestine with her two, um, basically, bodyguards, right? That one is cool, but I can't find her. I know she's in a bag hanging on the wall with all the other minis, but I'm not sure exactly where she is. The one that I wanted to get, but I can't justify the $100 price tag for it. Um, so I, I may end up getting her um, like separate on eBay is the, uh, here, I forgot, I forgot what they're calling it. Um, it's the, Come on, I know you, I know you're gonna be advertised there. No, not not you, not you. I I know I have you in my wish list. Um, the the ground piece. Yeah, I want to get a set of the uh, the Gemini, uh, cause those are just cool. They they look futuristic with their the packs and everything. Um, so. What are they calling it? It's the uh, Adeptosaurus uh, Battle Sanctum. I don't really care about the the set piece. Um, I would like to have a cathedral piece that was in scale um, because I want to incorporate um, the St. Catherine. I want to incorporate all the sisters. They're not going to get played, but I want to make a little diorama of them like escorting the, the bones of St. Catherine out. So there'll be the tanks. There'll be... Um, uh, everything in there, but I want, I want the the stone. <laughs> it won't even focus on it. Um, I want this, and I want, but I don't want to paint it in stone. I want to paint it. Um, I want to paint it separate. I think that would be cool as just a desk piece. but not for $85, $90. That's, uh, to me, that's, it's not worth it with that. But I love the design and everything. Um, and I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about for the tanks, uh, I was going to initially and then I decided against it and now I'm thinking about doing it again of grinding these out and running because there's so much open space inside of uh, running LEDs and then using basically hot glue or even silicone to create the flames because I know I know I can do that versus painting them and making them look like realistic flames I know my limitations I'm learning I'm trying to learn like, when you guys don't see me on videos and stuff, either A, I'm playing video games, or B, I'm practicing painting and stripping and practicing and, and stuff like that. Because that's what I enjoy doing and learning. Um, I've thought of getting the exact piece and trying to paint it as if it were a piece of stained glass uh, sculpture type of thing. That, that would be cool. What would be cool is, you know, I'm not, in, I'm, I'm not saying someone should make a copy of it, I'm saying if someone wants to sculpt something or 3D print it, something similar to like that, and then cast it in clear, that would be cool. Or clear wings, that would be cool. Uh, let's 
So I do like the I do like the concept that they did. If you didn't see in the beginning, <clears throat> uh, the clear piece that they did for the stained glass. Um, I've seen a couple people talk about that they think that's going to be difficult. It's going to be super easy, like easy peasy. Like yes, you're going to have to hand paint it, but I mean it's going to be easy. Because you have the framework, which you can prime in black with a brush. That's easy. And then you can do all of the, the filigree stuff by hand. It's going to take a, easy, a steady hand. But um, I don't know if... I, I thought about trying to tint it um, the way I do clear resin. But I, th I think they're too small to be able to do that. Are you wanting out? Or are you just trolling? Are you just trolling? Are you trolling? You are trolling. You troll? Mm-hmm. No one wants to hear you. No one on YouTube cares about you. No. Come let me in your lap, Daddy. No. Um, okay. Shush. You can tell what kind of conversations I have throughout the day with myself and the cat all right let's get this stuff done uh 105 106 um yeah and i mentioned it in the beginning when i went through the instructions you do get the option so you're going to have plenty of leftover bits um, but you do get the option of either the emolli uh, emolliation uh, flamers, the twin bolt, uh, the twin meltas, or the twin bolters that you can put on. But I don't see a point in doing those. Um, let's see here. I affectionately call the exorcist uh, driver Rick Wakeman. Uh, do you think you're old enough to get that right? I I recognize that. Hold on. I recognize that. Hold on, hold on. I'm sure as soon as I pull this up, I'll remember. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Ha! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm not familiar I mean, I kind of am, but yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. That's, oh. Man. Ooh. That's some scary shit right there. <laughs> I told my wife. You know, they're bringing back bell bottoms. If they start bringing back those flare collared shirts and all of that stuff from the 70s, mm -mm, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, let's see. So we have 99 and 100. There, do not glue the base of the guns in place, otherwise, you will not be able to move them up and down. Unless you don't care about that, then do whatever you like. Probably later tonight, I will build the rest of the main body of the, the tank, transport, whatever the hell you want to call it. Because um, I've already built it once, so. But I have heard with the, the top part that ends up going on there um, from this that it actually goes together easier than uh, than the other one. Let's trip those down, trim down, trim everything down. We got to hurry up and build this. We have to purge. 
Nurgle's blessing from this world. So I don't know about anybody else, um, but I, I sent uh, I sent my coworkers that that video. Uh, I'll get flagged for it. I'm sure. I don't. Right now, I don't care. I just I think it's so funny where are we so this is walking through work trying to avoid everybody with the Rona oh damn it 45 minutes ago you were saying you were shutting yourself off no stupid earphones was kind of me I ended up going by going through work um, to pick up a couple things drop off a couple things I'm like in and out I love you guys but I don't want to be around you I don't know what it is about that. I have literally sat there on the one hour, like what? someone did like 10 hours of that just looped over and over and over. And it just makes me smile. And I will sit there and I will watch it. So what do you think about Bandai making uh, Warhammer 40k stuff? Well, so I can't remember the story. I can't remember if it went up on GW site or if it went up on Bandai's thing and then someone had to pull it down because people were scrambling to uh, grab them up. I was hoping that they were going to be a little bit bigger. Um, I think they're, what, six inches? Eight inches maybe so they're about eight scale um, but they've made them like basically premium and I don't like that um, I would like to get one but I don't um, space marine yet uh, seeing the space marine yet yeah I hope they do a bunch more um, what I have seen is someone sent me a link and they were uh, they were laughing at the price and then I was laughing even more. So on um, Big Bad Toy Store, they have they have them listed as pre-order, uh, waiting for them to come in. Two hundred and I forgot how much dollars. Two hundred and some odd dollars for one one of these bandai put together oh, i was like hell no um time for bandai to make a pg set of oh hell yeah like i would love to see i would uh, even a 75 millimeter like scale um of like primarchs or something like that would be awesome much less like an eighth scale or um, a six scale that would be freaking awesome <sighs> uh, let's see but keep your eyes open because I ended up hearing that McFarland Toys uh, got a contract with GW for making um, action figures and I'm going to assume that they're just like the spawn line. They're going to be, you know, pre-painted action figures. But for those of us, well, I mean, even if you're just wanting to get like your favorite faction and put it on, put it on a shelf, that would be awesome. Um, for those wanting to um, customize 
and put in certain poses and solidify and sculpt up the the joints that that will be awesome too Uh, I don't know, probably not until next year um, as far as any releases on them, but that would just, that would be, that would be cool. Um, Bandai already gets enough of my money on plastic crack. All right, so there's this. Just cat. Uh, sneak of the market. Uh, they look decent. They're going to do a paint your own as well. See, that's cool. But even if they don't, like, I think uh, I used to collect spawn figures, and I always thought they did a decent job. Uh, a couple I would go through and, um, you know, re-sculpt over the joints and blend them together and basically turn them from action figures into statues. So there's one done up. Let that glue sit. Let's grab you, bring you over here. Yeah, for uh, for the two hundred dollars, you could get one of the custom one six fi uh, figure um, armor sets. Uh, I don't know who makes them anymore, but you know they were cast in resin and they were well done. I know um, Snow did a bunch of uh, customization uh, paint ups and stuff using them and. Uh, I'm sure if you look on the rep, uh, replica prop forms, you can still find uh, the sellers on there. Or seller. I know he was out of the UK. It's been a few years since I've, uh, I've seen anything or I, honestly that I've even looked. I've been waiting for so I know creature casters like I have I have one of their pieces and I I like their work I've been waiting for him to do a rendition of Nagash I mean they're doing they're doing a lot of the others that are all Chaosy. I'm waiting for them to do a rendition of Nagash. That would be actually pretty cool. Ow. See, when you're a dumbass, I was swore that that said 103, 104, 106, 105. I did have that right. So I think they had them labeled wrong on the instruction manual. So there's actually keys. I mean, I didn't have a problem with lining them up, but there's actually keys for these. That would have been ugly if I'd let that sit. Oof.
I've noticed that once in a while with Bandai kits, like they'll have a, you know, the part you need is G7. Uh, G7 doesn't even look like that part. Like what? And you realize it's like, it's another part. together and let her sit. sent me a picture of her co-worker had um, she had a cyst or something removed and she had to have a section of her bowel removed she sent me a picture of her abdominal scar with the staples Ooh. I was like ah what the uh, yes clean but ugly Oh, uh, let's see here. It's amazing how some parts of GW kit go together so well, uh, and some parts are just a nightmare. But it has been miles uh, better than what it used to be 20 years ago. Now only Forge World would step up. Uh, yeah, I haven't touched a Forge World kit in forever, um, but those are definitely interesting too, or can be interesting. To work with all right so let's see so these I will fill in the little divots with some milliput later and I may just leave these loose for right now I think I'll just leave those loose for right now they don't have to be glued down And let's see here. We want, we want flames. Holy flames. <laughs> Some chaos stuff right here. Yes. Um. going to go with these so yep 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 and yep cut everything down here Don't sing along with me. You you don't sing very well. You whine really good. Why are you this is weirdo? Watching what I'm doing in the monitor. 
cat. So let us see here. All right, there's a clippy. There. Glue across there. Across there. And that gap. And that gap. And that gap. Grab us a clippy. And stick her in there. work for holding pieces together or as nipple clamps. Choice is yours. Choose wisely. dinners have a great night you too dude uh i gotta go here in a little bit and eat too because i'm hungry but yeah thank you for stopping by um i will once i end up finishing this up i'll actually do a review in comparison of the other one but you have a good night sir um and let's see we're actually at about an hour and 17 I mostly did this because I wanted to keep myself busy. But there's a grumbly in my tumbly. There's an angry cat at my door. I got one that wants in and one that wants out. So what we have got so far is going to be, let's switch to here. So what we've got so far is going to be this. And block my face. Eh, there. Focus on it. There. So on the cannons, you do not want to uh, secure those into place. You want to leave them loose. That way you can adjust up and down. Um, at this point, I would probably suggest leave, not gluing them down to the, the turret base, uh, at least right now, until you get everything all cleaned up. Uh, there are little notches that go up in there to hold them in the place. I'll have to see once I end up putting on the, the clear piece for the stained glass, how that ends up looking. But I'm pretty sure you can just slip them in and drop them down. That's probably going to make it the easiest for you. Um, for anybody that stuck around this long, thank you. Um, definitely stay tuned. I'm probably going to work on this until who knows the middle of the night after I eat. And then um, I will put up a video tomorrow showing a comparison uh, between the Exorcist tank and the Emoliator um, tank. And we will go from there. But thank you so much for hanging out. And internal temp is too high. Boo!